Hello everyone, there is another video for you. In this video, we go Acer Aspire E15 series. So today in this video, what are you going to do? We're going to activate the external boot system in here because as you know by default, most most of the laptop brand, what they do, they put um, external boot option disabled by default. Okay, so we're going to enable it due to reinstall the Windows system or recover your Windows system. So this is the recovery bootable disk and that is the bootable Windows 10 Pro disk, okay? So let's start. So what happened is, first of all, make sure your charger is connected. By the way, in this model, they got 3.0 USB port. And let's see in this side. In this side, 2.0, okay. So it doesn't make any difference to be honest okay so first of all we'll see how does the laptop behave without customizing the bio system first so let's say i'm going to put windows 10 pro disk either here or 3.0 in here and turn on the machine and try to get into boot menu temporary boot menu by pressing f2 that's what the default is as you can see it does an effect okay because by default this is disabled so we must need to enable it so turn it off again all right so when it's completely shuttered press the power button once and keep pressing f12 and f12 is default bios key for this machine here we go as you can see this is the main screen for the bios system in information bar, you can get all the information about this machine, motherboard, serial number, product code, and service tag and other stuff. Now, we're going to go to main and check. In the main section, we're going to see definitely date and time. And obviously, F2 boot menu, which is disabled. That's the reason at the beginning, when you try to get into F2 boot menu option, and we are pressing F12, it didn't work because this is de by default is disabled. So let's make it enable first. All right. There. Okay. So now that is not everything. That is not everything because why? I'm going to show you. If you go to security, let's say I made the F2 enable. So now if I save the changes and restart the machine, and if I try to get into F2, still, I'm not going to able to see this system was UEFI, not the legacy. There are two types of boot. One is UEFI, another one is legacy. So with UEFI, this is kind of secure boot. Okay, so it prevents your machine to take external boot command, this and that, right? So what do you need to do? We need to make it enable. But before we do that, Let's say I just done this and I forgot. I forgot to turn off the UEFI. I mean to change the UEFI to legacy. Let's say I forgot it. So I'm going to change it that way and I will show you the differences. I'm going to press F10, save it. And I'm going to keep pressing F2 to get into temporary boot option. There we go. As you can see, this is Windows Boot Manager WD, WDC. So this is Western Digital Hard Drive in there. Now, in the boot menu, I can see only one. But what about that one? The one that already connected? Why it doesn't come up on the boot manager? Okay, fine. It's not legacy. That's the reason. Or the secure boot is on. So we must need to disable the secure boot. Or... We must need to change UEFI to legacy or maybe both boot mode. Okay, so to do that, turn off your machine again. It's completely shut down. Press the power button. F2 once again. Okay, so now from here, we're going to go to security. We'll try to find if there is any secure boot mode as you can see secure boot mode is standard we must need to disable it but there is no option for acer aspire e15 series 
So what are you going to do? We're going to go to boot option. Going there. Fine. And now, as you can see, this is EVFI is highlighted by white color. I'm going to press enter. And I will go down to the legacy. And they are asking, Microsoft recommends execute Windows 8 and other version under EFI boot mode to enjoy the full features. Okay, that's fine. Let's say okay. The available boot device will be changed until the reboot. That's fine also. All right. So now it's done. So that's all done. Now, if you would like, you can uh, customize your boot option, but I'm going to save it how it is. And again, F2. Now, we're definitely going to see in the list. Okay, here we go. Now, as you can see, USB HDD. USB HDD Kingston Data Traveler, which is that one. I put a sticker on it. And there are other couple of more options. Example before, even the DVD drive. There is any DVD drive? Yes, there is. Even DVD writable drive also optical drive was known on the list plus network you know network boot option which is real tech i mean network card so all all of them are visible right now there are two reasons one the secure boot is off second thing the uefi change into legacy now we can customize it now if you want to do recover your windows from the recovery bootable drive yes you can connect and hit enter and the follow the procedure if you want to freshly reinstall your Windows 10 Pro or whatever you want to do, you can do that. So in this case, we're going to reinstall Windows 10 Pro on it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go down and select it and hit enter. Once I do that, then the installation progress will begin. And we're going to see within a second the Windows logo in here. Okay. Here we go. We can see the Windows installation fast page setup page. Okay, so that's how you customize your boot menu for SR Aspire E15. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and bye for now. I'll see you in the next video.